a current oracle prophecy. The L gods are coming. We know that in ancient times, the leaders, the kings of their country used to go to an oracle to get a prophecy as to what would be going on with their battle, with their kingdom, with their people, with their enemies. The Oracle of Delphi in Greece was the oldest of the four oracles controlled by Apollo. The only oracle older was the Grove of Dodona, which was controlled by Rhea. The Oracle of Delphi was not only a location, but a person. Those who sought the future would go to Delphi asking the Oracle a question and would receive an answer in the form of a prophecy. The prophecies were in verse, and they would also be riddles of sorts which would have to be interpreted. There is one prophecy, the oracle, concerning the L gods that are coming. These are two oracles that came a few years ago. Open your mind trying to understand what these means. The first sign, this is of course translated from Greek. It traveled from the innards of the galaxy, but a ship caught it up to it and grabbed it. When blossomed like a clover between the earth and its star, we'll find two foreigners who will be laughing. The snick of the flare will illuminate a M and two teeth. The swan will appear and Buddha from behind him will stand to see the X formed by the rays of the sun. One of you will be looking at the one stranger, the other stranger will leave from the other side. Buddha, great and still, will be looking. The stranger with the pointy head will speak. The X will grow its ends, and the left leg will appear a ladder. In the left leg will appear a ladder. The swan will reach, and the Buddha will still looking. Many others will come to talk with the stranger. Now this is what it said in Greek. I read Greek, so I'll say it anyway. In other words, it came from the depths of the galaxy. With one ship, it, um, uh, in a timely fashion, was able to grab it, to grasp it. And then it uh, bloomed like a three-leaf clover. In between Earth and her son, Thavriskodan Dioxeni Putha Yelun. Between the Earth and the Sun, there will be found two foreigners which will be laughing. I Harakia tis eclampsis Thafortisi enami Kediodondia. The flash of the, the lightning. Uh, will uh, enlighten uh, an M and two teeth, whatever that means. Okiknos Thafani Kevudas. The swan will appear and Buddha from behind. Apopiso Thastathi Navlepito He. Okay, I won't go on. It's basically the, uh, the English version of the prophecy that we've read before. Now the second oracle says this, translation of the original, a well-dressed skull will be looking at the umbilical cord, ghosts will come out from there. From frustration you will throw a stone tied with rope to the sea at a depth that only a giant squid can reach. Surrounded by the ghosts you will await the covered letters that will send them away. One ghost will last. H.T. Holy Temple will arrive. The dragon that will appear will be facing the scepter, the ghost that will be looking the star that sent the HT, the Holy Temple. 1101, the name of the star that the dragon looks at too. The speaking trumpet, Televoas, arrived at Stonehenge. The tail of the fish got lost at the bottom. Well, you can see how ridiculous the, the, these riddles sound. Who can make heads or tails out of this? I'll leave a link below for you for this.
on Awakening for All.